Nene Leakes claimed her fame as the standout, loud, and boisterous star of Bravo's Real Housewives of Atlanta. The notoriety she achieved opened many doors, including Broadway and becoming a restaurateur. After the heart-sinking loss of her husband, Greg, who recently lost his battle with colon cancer, she's looking to part ways with her Georgia estate. Nene has listed her five-bedroom, seven-bath mansion for $4 million, nearly double the $2.1 million she paid when she bought it in 2015. The Mediterranean home is nearly 10,000 square feet with the resort-style pool with a waterfall feature on the main level and boasts all the amenities you'd expect the Real Housewives of Atlanta powerhouse to have, including a massive, massive walk-in closet. Wait till you see it. When she bought it, it was a blank canvas in a sense, and she put a lot of money into making it her own. You'll see that as well. It's nestled in a gated community, a uh, country club community, actually, right next to a golf course. So the views and the landscaping are top notch. It's been, that area has also been home to many celebrities such as Gail Devers, T. Bosch from TLC, Tony Braxton. And I believe they say Portia from Housewives also lives around the corner. This is the moment where I ask you for the type of support. It didn't cost you a dime, but as always, the cash app info is in the description below. And if you want to contribute, by all means. But I'm merely asking you to just click the like button. That's it. Just click the like button. If you're still watching right now, just click the like button. Please. I'm, asking, I'm saying please. And subscribe if you haven't already done so. <laughs> I want to see if I can get every person that watches to click the like button. Or, or a thumbs down if you don't like the video. If you hate me, you don't like it. Either way, that's fine too. And I'll be right back with a tour of NeNe Leakes Duluth, Georgia. I'm Lamb, the real estate insider. Nene Leach just put a Sugarloaf Country Club home on the market for $4 million after losing her husband to cancer. This unique Mediterranean home gives West Coast vibes according to the listing. And I can kind of see that. I could maybe see it in Rancho Cucamonga or perhaps the Coachella Valley. But let's go straight to the kitchen to start, okay? If you watched at least one episode of Real Housewives when Nene was on, you know she can be over the top and I expect nothing less from her home. Double chandeliers, giant unit on the wall, gorgeous white cabinetry and white stone countertops marble. It's beautiful. And if we pivot over to the living room, there's another custom chandelier, even larger than the last one. Crystal, I'm sure. Nice accented fireplace, high ceilings, and lots of natural light. If I bought the home, I'd warm it up a bit, though, with some area rugs, those really thick white shag rugs. Not the old school ones, but the, the good ones, the real thick ones. I bet the echoes in here are absolutely crazy. Now this entry isn't very inviting. It feels more like a museum. It looks nice, just not very inviting, not welcoming at all. Now, now to the dining room. Two more crystal chandeliers and custom upholstered chairs and another display cabinet. Very cold here as well. Should be a rug under those sofas. This office area is different, working with some different textures. No chandelier, surprisingly, but I love the desk and the black crystal-like table. And now to the master suite, which I think we saw this room on the, on the show when she attacked some of the ladies for trying to go into her closet. There's a chandelier, beautiful drapes, nice colors, but cold. The room definitely gives me Z gallery vibes. Love in the bath. Feels like a resort. The tub is amazing. And finally, a single solitary rug. Okay, all right, there's a rug. Finally, I found a rug. And here's that famous closet the ladies want to see so bad. And I see why. It's huge, it's gorgeous, functional, open, very well done. Thumbs up on that one. Click, click like right now if you like that closet. Let me get y'all to click like. Click like if you like that closet. <laughs> And let's go down to the basement where we'll find an entertainment bar, custom wall, seating for a VIP guest, wine storage, an amazing looking theater, game room, and a beauty salon. I think the basement is probably my favorite part of this house, for sure. With, without a doubt, the basement is definitely my, this basement is gorgeous. Gorgeous. The backyard is all right. The backyard is cool, has that waterfall feature and water features going, okay. But I'm stuck on that basement. What y'all think of that basement? Now the time has come where I provide my insider rating. I rate the home on scale from one to 10. 
One being bloody dreadful and 10 being astonishing. And I give Nini's home. I give Nini's home. I give Nini Leak's home an 8.75. The home is beautiful. A bit over the top with chandeliers and lacks warmth, but the basement is the sale. The basement is going to sell that house. I am re I'm really looking forward to the day where I'm able to give a 10. That, that, that's going to be, it's going to blow y'all's mind. And I hope it blows my mind. But I want to hear from you. What do you rate this home on a scale from 1 to 10? Put your rating in the comments below, and I might shout you out in an upcoming video. And at this moment, I'd like to shout out Patricia Johnson for her 10 rating on our last video of Viola Davis's mansion. Check out that video. And now we've come to the end of the tour. Please remember to click like and subscribe and share the video on your Facebook, perhaps. And I will see you at the next Liberty Home Tour. I'm Lamb, the Real Estate Insider. Peace out.